Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go over how to drill and tap out a part on the lathe. Um, we've already gone over how to install stuff in the three jaw chuck, how to put the, the drill chuck in here or in the detail stock and how to lock it down, how to use it, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna quickly put some oil on our part on our drill bit here. We're gonna go fire it up. And I'm just gonna finish up drill bit and drilling out this one. So we just got a little bit more to go. And I'm just working off these rules right here, or this rule to ter determine how deep my hole needs to be. And then I, if I was really getting specific with it, I would take my set of calipers and uh, measure it out, okay? So next thing we're gonna do, now that we got it down to our one inch depth, go ahead and turn this off. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out, this drill bit out. Ooh, I might need some more space here. Get that drill bit out of there. Next thing we're going to use is our live center, or spring center I should call it. Always getting that one wrong. We're going to go ahead and put this in the drill chuck just like it was a drill bit. I always try to slide it back most of the way. That way if it ever gets pressure put on it, it won't slide on you. Next we're going to go ahead and take our, our tap holder and our tap. We're gonna make sure we have enough room. These things, this is a little bit longer than the average tool, so try to get it close. So that's a pretty good length. I like to, I don't like to slam the tailstock into the part. I like to just go ahead and rotate it till it makes contact. We're gonna go ahead and push it in, see how this is actually the spring is getting collapsed. And then until it stops. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lock this one in place. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the chuck into neutral or the spindle into neutral if it'll go and we're gonna just start you can either rotate this one because it's putting it's putting that pressure and keeping everything in line for you so get it started make sure you put a lot of oil on this one a little will do a little good a lot will do a lot of good when it comes to oil on taps we're gonna start backing it off go in back it off you can hear those chips cutting so you know it's working and you can even see them coming out a little bit. And you're just going to keep doing, I do about one turn and then a half turn back. Or I guess I do about a half turn and then a quarter turn back. So Until you make it all the way to the end of your part. Um, typically when you hit the end of your part, this thing will lock up pretty tight. So you want to make sure that when you hit that, you don't, you don't push beyond it or you'll break this tap. Um, the beauty of this design is we don't have to worry about getting everything straight. It's doing it for us. So um, that's pretty much how we're going to do most of the tapping on this uh, in this class. There's going to be some other power tap type stuff we do with the lathe, but this is pretty much the main setup. Okay. Any questions on it? Please let me know.